Recently, in the case X versus Y, the Supreme Court emphasized the need for more expansive and contextual approach while interpreting the term cruelty under the Hindu Marriage Act. So, let us first understand what does cruelty in general terms means. The term cruelty means any matrimonial dispute which causes pain and distress of any kind such as physical, mental or emotional to others. The concept of cruelty is always subjective and depends on various factors such as person, place or time and facts and circumstances of the case. So in this case, the court pronounced the judgment while granting divorce, a petition filed by the wife and recognized the concept of cruelty that can vary from person to person. The Supreme Court Division Bench comprising of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice M.M. M. Sundresh acknowledged that the term cruelty is itself an objective concept. Its interpretation should be factored in subjectivity. So the court in this case emphasized that what may constitute cruelty for one individual may not constitute cruelty for another person. Consequently, more elastic and a broader approach is required, particularly when a wife seeks for divorce. The court in this case also referred to the 1976 Amending Act of the Hindu Marriage Act, which introduced the clauses 1A and 1B to Section 13 and Section 13A, thereby expanding the grounds for divorce. The court observed that the statements of objects and reasons of the Amendment Act makes it clear that the intention of the legislature was to liberalize the grant of divorce. In this background, the Apex Court said that historically, the law of divorce was predominantly built on a conservative canvas based on the fault theory. Preservation of marital sanity from the societal perspective was considered a prevailing factor. With the adoption of libertarian attitude, the grounds for separation or dissolution of marriage have been construed with latitudinalism. In this case, regarding the burden of proof in divorce cases, the court clarified that it lies with the petitioner. The court also highlighted the potential harm inflicted on the children when incompatible partners are compelled to stay in a contentious relationship. The court also highlighted that children often become victim of their parents' conflict even when there is no responsibility for marriage breakdown. In this case, the Supreme Court acknowledged that the estranged couple had been living apart for 15 years and the marriage had no longer viable and the relationship had come to an end, lacking only a formal divorce decree. Consequently, the Supreme Court granted divorce, overturning the decisions of the lower court and the high court. The Supreme Court also criticized the hyper-technical and pedantic approach adopted by the lower court in denying the divorce. It also noted that the, uh, there was no willingness from either party to continue the marriage as both the parties had moved on in their respective lives.